Hey, it's Asia Sky from the DX Daily Podcast. And last year, the number of rappers that were fatally shot was unprecedented. And the unfortunate trend has only continued in 2022. According to French Montana, the rising death toll has prompted record labels to take out life insurance policies on their artists. Speaking to the Off the Record podcast, French Montana speculated that the labels were anticipating a big payday if their artist gets murdered. And we was beefing for real. Like, people was, like, dying and this and that. And it was just, like, it was, it was blocking a lot of money. People didn't want to touch you. You know what I'm saying? You know, your rap friends, somebody gets shot, your rap friends stop picking up, the labels stop picking up. Mm. Nah, it gets, it gets crazy. You know what I'm saying? It gets crazy. But now it's even crazier because really? they, they getting life insurance on artists. At least back then we didn't have that. Somebody told me that shit. Yeah. Is a label signing an artist in good faith if you're taking a life insurance out of them? No, nah, you're, praying on, you're praying on his death. You're praying on making millions on his death. Or are they being realistic, though? Both. They're being realistic. And, they, you know, you're supposed to have life, you know what I'm saying, life insurance anyway. But when the label does it, if you don't have one, that's crazy. At least 20 notable rappers were fatally shot in 2021. Some hometown heroes, others nationally celebrated artists. Young Dolph was gunned down in his hometown of Memphis last November as he went to pick up baked goods for his mother at Makita's Homemade Cookies. Draco the Ruler was stabbed to death backstage at the Once Upon a Time in LA Music Festival right before Christmas, while YG affiliate Slim 400 was shot and killed in Los Angeles just days prior. Other high-profile murders in hip-hop include Nipsey Hussle, who was shot and killed outside of his clothing store in 2019. So after witnessing the deaths of all of these various rappers, what do you think about French Montana's statements on labels taking out life insurance policies on their artists. And do you think it would be moral or fair that the label gets a payday if their artist dies? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell on the channel and keep it locked to Hip Hop DX.